here's a different variation of how to give the information um, for a, a surface. So f of x, y would be like saying z equals. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the gradient to find the normal vector. And so let me write the question here. Um, we're going to write the equations of the tangent plane and also the parametric equations of the normal line. So three equations make a normal line. There's the equation of the tangent plane. Um, but I need to give you the where. So we're going to um, use the gradient. We're going to use the gradient to find the normal vector vector at f of 1 comma negative 2. All right, so this is kind of the the given information that will lead me to this. And so I want to first make an observation. Instead of letting the a classroom with students in it kind of sweat over this, I'm going to more directly guide you to the, the, the piece of information that is most critical here. So the gradient of f of x, y will have the x and y partial derivatives in it. But that is only two dimensions. This is a surface. It has three dimensions. In order to approach this question, I need three variables. So this observation is kind of like our dilemma, our problem. All right, what are we going to do with this? I think I have a spelling error there. I'll leave it for you guys to attack that later on. Let's do this here. If I go back to my original problem, z equals x squared minus y e to the x minus 1 plus y cubed, I could transform this to x squared minus y e to the x minus 1 plus y cubed minus z equals 0. This would be my three variable function equal to a constant that we were working with before. When I calculate the gradient of a three variable problem, I'll get a normal vector in three dimensions. So, so close I was. I was so very close. So the gradient of that capital G that's here is going to be the x, y, and z derivative And let's see, that shouldn't be too difficult to calculate. Uh, derivative with respect to x, that would be 2x minus constant times e to the x minus 1. The derivative of x minus 1 is just 1, so that doesn't change. And then those are both 0 if x is the variable. There's your first term. y is the variable, that's 0 minus e to the negative x minus 1 because the derivative of y is 1 and this is a constant. Derivative of that is 3y squared. That's 0. And then if z is the variable, I get a modest little negative 1. It's a constant, but it is the derivative. 
Okay, so let me summarize so far. I had a function of x and y, which is a surface in three dimensions. But the gradient only gives me two of the three variables I need, or two of the three components I need. So we rewrite the problem so x, y, and z are together equal to zero, and now I can do a three variable gradient. Does anyone realize what it is we're missing? We don't have the coordinates, or we don't have all three coordinates. I was given x is 1 and y is negative 2, but I don't have the z coordinate. Okay, where do z values come from? Oh, here. If I let x is 1 and y is negative 2, let's see, that's 1 squared minus a negative 2 is positive 2. 1 minus 1 is 0, e to the 0 is 1. Uh, what do I get here? Negative 2 cubed is negative 8. So what is that? Five, uh, negative 5? Negative 5. And let's substitute the values in. 2 times 1 is 2. Minus a negative 2 is plus 2. E to the 1 minus 1, uh, e to the 0 is 1. Negative e to the 0 would be negative 1. Y squared would be 4 times 3 is 12. Okay. And Oh, the z component's always negative 1. I kind of got quiet so you could do some arithmetic without having to do it over my voice. Let's see, let's just check here for minus signs. The y derivative is, yeah, yep, yeah, I'm okay with that. So what do we get as our vector here? 4, 11, and negative 1. This is my normal vector in three dimensions at the point which is here. Now I step back and remind myself what was it I was going to try to find. Well, I was going to write the equation of a tangent plane. The tangent plane to that unseen three-dimensional surface, I have my vector. Minus one and equals zero. And I have my coordinates, x minus one, y minus a negative two, so it'd be y plus two. Z minus a negative, which would be plus five. There it is, equation of my tangent plane. If you have all the numbers, it's a very fast substitution. And then the other question I might ask is, what are the parametric equations of the normal line? The x and y and z equations. And if I have the coordinates, x is 1 and y is negative 2 and z is negative 5, and I have my vector, goes that way, plus 11t minus 1t. There you go. Now I typically don't ask for both of these on one question when I'm doing an assessment, but you don't know which one I'm going to ask for, so I feel a need to demonstrate them both every time. So this particular problem was where we needed three dimensions, but we only had two variables, and how do we manipulate the algebra to give us our third variable. There you have it. Once you have tangent planes, then we can start talking about very specific tangent planes, but you'll have to come on to the next videos to find those.
Till next time.